Hello, hello people. Uh, my name is Walter and I was thinking about uh, making a series of videos about living in the north, in the middle of nowhere, basically, uh, for quite some time now. And I was waiting for the right moment, but I figured it never comes until I started filming. So, here it is. Uh, this is Canada, northern Alberta about five hours to the north from Edmonton and uh, I'm living here on that acreage with my wife, two kids, one dog, four cats, five sheep and who knows how many chickens. So today, today I am trying to install a snow fence. <clears throat> That's what I did so far and there is quite a bit left. So with snow fences, uh, what I figured is this is improper way to install it. <clears throat> Proper way is to install it at least four times its own height from the place you want to protect from snow, which in my case would be a driveway. Uh, that's not quite 140 feet as it's supposed to be, but it's close. Another thing uh, important for snow fencing is a gap uh, underneath. So here, <laughs> here you can see a surprise that uh, pole was quite a bit shorter than the other and next two are the same. So I'm making a little makeshift extender. Hopefully it will work. Uh, the main purpose of snow fence is to create a turbulence, so I try to get rid of the slack, but well, I guess it will be good in making turbulence anyway, so <clears throat> that's another thing. But for now, let's just continue installing the fabric. Yesterday when I was doing this, uh, the first part of the fence, I was tightening up those straps by hand. And by the end of the day, I had a horrible, horrible pain in my palms and fingers. So now I'm doing a little differently. Obviously, I use two hands, but I cannot film it. Well, maybe I need GoPro. All right, top part of the fence is installed and tied up. But it still looks horrible. It will need to be tied in the bottoms. So it it doesn't sag so much. I'll see. This is our house up close, by the way. Uh, all this firewood recently bought. Uh, we, we have a forest by the house, but we didn't expect to install the wood stove this year. So all that firewood still needs to be cut and dried in the forest. And here, would, what do we have here? Hopefully it would be enough for winter. Well, looks like bird feeder got is their guests. Let's see if we still have anything. Almost empty. Wow. It was full just a month ago, like up to there. Oh. Alright, time to refill it. Bring in some leftovers to all oh, the fabric, I mean uh, to install it here. But I don't know if it's a good idea to install it there, actually, because it will cause a snow drift right there. Hopefully not, not on the road or walkway. So there I will install a little piece of fabric. Hey, ships, say hi. Say hi, I said. Bastards. Damn, it's just a little there. It's not enough here. Oh well, I'll secure what I can, I guess. Well, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna last, but it's either this or nothing. So I'm not much concerned. So the last piece of fabric is unwrapped and laid by the fence. 
there's a very rusty gate. We are going, well, I don't know if you're gonna use it in the winter or not. I'm going to fence it over, but wonder too much of securing in case if it needs to be undone. Well, this is it. Here's a uh, fence from from here to all the way to there. And this is a driveway it's supposed to protect. So there is a basically 160 feet or 42 meters between the driveway and fence. And according to internet, that's how it's supposed to be. This is a fence my wife installed. I don't know if it will work. It shouldn't, uh, but we'll see. So when blizzard hits, I will make another video and, and we'll see if it works or not. So total budget was $157, uh, Canadian dollars and lots of elbow grease, if you can say that. Stay tuned. This is one suspicious cat. We don't have any Valerian here, but he looks pretty drunk. Hey kitty. Not you, you ain't kitty. Hey Bolt, his name is Bolt. Bolt. Hey, good boy. Say hi. Yeah, that works. Say bye.